now I know y'all have been waiting for this daggone moment. I have as well, okay? Because when you get to this point in pregnancy, that means you're hopefully about to have your baby or babies in my case. And so this video pretty much marks my hospital bag slash diaper bag. Uh, I don't know, unboxing, haul, whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, you guys already know the craziness that's been going on these last few days. Over this last week, we've had a few scares with the doctor, and uh, so every couple of days I'm going back and forth to the doctor's office to kind of see what I'm going to be doing and what's going to happen with the babies. The babies so far have been great. If you guys haven't checked out those videos, I will leave the video links down below in the description box, okay? They will be at the top of the description box along with the other information that I provide in this video but uh yeah y'all I'm so excited to finally do this video because that means we're heading towards the end of said pregnancy when I can finally see my babies okay now for those of you guys that are newer or checking me out for the very first time let me go ahead and give y'all an introduction because y'all know I always do that my name is Sandy and uh, yeah we are daily vloggers here on this channel the social at life TV although over the last week or so it has been probably every other day only because of the fact that I've had to rest a little bit since all of this stuff has gone down with the doctors and blood pressure etc etc however we and my husband and I which I call juice are uh, <laughs> expecting twins a boy and a girl okay so any videos you guys want to know to kind of get caught up um, is in the playlist that you guys are checking this video out in right here and uh, check out my other videos and if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button and become part of the fam bam welcome to all of my newer subscribers and of course what's up to the old heads okay while you're here also make sure to hit the thumbs up button just because you love your cousins and them that are very much on z-way we just don't know what day they're coming okay so yeah i wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of the items that i plan to take with me to the hospital um with that scare recently it kind of it kind of put juice and i in high gear to really kind of get our butts moving to try to get everything situated and have our hospital bag together, diaper bag, and anything else that we were planning on taking with us to the hospital or hospital um, and so that we could be totally ready for us when it's time for us to have these children, okay? And so I'm gonna show you what I have thus far. Pretty much, I am 98% finished with packing this bag. It's not zipped up or anything. I didn't really get it really super organized because I wanted to be able to show them to you individually. And then as soon as I get done with this video, I'm going to get them organized where I can actually zip my bag up and everything. But I had to show you guys the piece de resistance of this entire video. And that would be my brand new diaper bag that I received from Lily Jade. And it is the most amazing thing ever. Take a look. Bam! Okay, this bad boy right here is my Lily Jade diaper bag, okay? And it is just, I love it. It is so freaking chic, as you guys can see here, yeah, okay? And as you guys can also tell, I've already kind of packed it with a few things. I still have some more items that I'm gonna be packing inside of it, but for now, I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what this diaper bag is all about, where you can get said diaper bag, the elements of the diaper bag, and all of that good stuff, okay? So! Let me go ahead real quickly show you guys how it came when I received the bag, okay? So basically it came nicely packaged as you guys can see here. It also comes with its own little um, dust bag that is awesome because I'm actually planning on taking that with me to the hospital to fill up with the diapers and the things that I know I can take from the baby beds that they have there that I'll be having them restock consistently because I'll be taking them to take with me here back at the crib when we take the babies back home. So. I'm gonna definitely be using the dust bag for that purpose, but it came in its own dust bag. Now, the bag that I actually selected, and it has, um, I mean, when I say this website, which is at the top of the description box, has the most amazing selections, okay? of diaper bags to choose from every color, every style you could ever imagine. I chose the Madeline black and red, and I got it in leather, so I got the black leather, and the red is the interior of the bag itself. I just wanted something really chic, classy, something that almost resembled a purse that I could rock with me. It also can change into a messenger bag, but you can also use it as a backpack as well. So it comes with the additional straps right here okay and an adorable tassel as you guys can see this whole thing is leather you can smell that it's leather it smells amazing and it also comes with a removable 
strap that you guys can see right here. So you can easily just take that off if you guys want to carry it more as a backpack. I myself plan on probably having the Hubster carry this because you guys know when we go to the hospital and we have to use these, I will probably be in labor or maybe being induced. So I won't be carrying any of this, the hubby will, okay? So anyway, love the bag. I'm gonna show you guys the interior before you guys see what's all in this bag. So the interior of the bag, hence the name, Madeline Black and Red. The interior is so chic, it's red. I love it, love it, love it. The cool thing is it has a ton of storage, tons of pockets. It also has a changing pad as well, which I thought was a really cool touch. And like I said, it has a ton of storage. I can put my cell phone in here, slip diapers in here. I can do all kinds of stuff. Keep in mind, this is my very first time even using a diaper bag for any reason whatsoever. And so I was like, you know what? If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. You feel me? Okay. So um, it comes with this little strap at the front. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show that to you the way it is right here. Boom. Okay, so I have all of these compartments here in the very front that I can actually use to store items in, cell phone, additional diapers, um, bottles, formula packets, whatever the case may be. And then on the other side here, it has a zipper in the very back as well, okay? And so I can kind of stick whatever into this area here. And as I said, there is tons of storage on the inside of the bag. So let me go ahead and zip unzip this bag and we have some things in here some of which you're not going to see simply because they are the going home outfits for my little ones and I would rather you guys see them when they go home okay but here is the little changing pad and I thought this was just really cool that they already have that in there so that you can change your babies and it comes where you can roll it up and snap it it's awesome so we've got that anyway I'm in love with this. The minute we saw it, like even Juice was like, wow, that's really nice. There is also zippers galore. Hold on. I don't want to show y'all too much of my baby's, you know, clothing because you'll see them in the hospital, okay? So let me go ahead and take these bad boys out because I've already packed this, this up. I should have taken this all out before, but I don't want you guys to see this part before. So, okay, here we go. So anyway, so we've got all, like I said, all kinds of compartments all kinds of compartments where you guys can put so much stuff so anyway like i said make sure you guys check out the website down below check out lily jade's amazing bags okay when i say there are so many variations of color there is another style of bag that i'm absolutely in love with but i fell with the fell in love with the madeline bag and i wanted to get the leather which i am so not even, not at all disappointed it is absolutely amazing and tons of room, tons of storage, which is so incredibly important, especially because we're having twins. So we're gonna need as much stuff as possible. The other thing that's really cool is this little part of the storage, so this gives you a closer look, is able to be removed. So you can actually snap it on the inside of your bag, okay? And then it allows you to just, I mean, if you really wanted to just carry this as its own purse, or you were taking one child out, if you were in my case, uh, you know, having twins, and you wanted to just take one child out and just throw a couple things in here, you can. But the cool thing is, is that you can also, you know, remove the parts of the storage that you may not find necessary to use when you grab your bag. So you've got this right here. You've got all kinds of storage. Anyway, I wanted to make sure that I showed this to you guys before I show you guys all the rest of this stuff. And um, check out the website down below. When I say these are off the chain, it is off the chain. And thank you so much to Lily Jade for sending me this amazing diaper bag. It is, it's already being put to use. It will be what, I be, what I'm taking to the hospital. And uh, yeah, check it out down below. Make sure you guys check it out. And if you guys check them out, make sure you tell them Sandy sent you. Okay, so got a whole bunch of other stuff to show y'all because I pretty much, put a, a question on Instagram and asked you guys specifically what you guys said I needed to pack in my hospital bag or diaper bag or whatever the case may be to take to the hospital. And you guys had so much input, plus you guys have been putting items at the bottoms of these videos as well, so thank you guys for all the feedback and the input. If there are any items that you guys also think that I need, in addition to what you guys see here, feel free to leave them down below. 
because you just never know we may not have had the twins by the time this video comes out um, but I tried to pretty much take heed to everything that you guys told me to have in my bag so let's go ahead and get started first and foremost I should tell you that the items that were in my Lily J diaper bag like I said were my uh, going home outfits for the kids and a couple of onesies that I want to put on them while they're in the hospital if I'm able to it just depends on how early or late the babies come I may not even have to use them because we don't know how early or late they're gonna come but I came kind of prepared with those in addition to some socks and those types of things okay so I will show you guys those when the babies are actually here you'll see them wearing them all right um, as far as anything else I've got a nice bag over here it's a little too heavy for me to pick up and show you guys but just know I have a big piece of luggage over here it's a roll away luggage um, but let me show you guys this first because it's the easiest to show so I've got my toiletry bag here okay and i've had this thing forever um i got it from bed bath and beyond if i'm not mistaken years ago never ended up using it but i was like you know what i know i'm going to use it at some point and it literally has everything i could possibly have under the sun okay so here we go let me go ahead and go through pretty much each side all oh, these babies are moving each side of the bag all right so on one side i've got my favorite um yeah my favorite lotion that's Lubriderm. I always have to get the advanced layer therapy because I've got very dry skin so I have a small bottle of that. I have Johnson's baby lotion in a small bottle just so I can put it on my babies if I'm allowed to. Okay I've also got my uh, Sinex. It's pretty much Sinex for my nose um, because you guys know I have been heavily congested and I don't want to be pushing and all of that and then I still can't breathe. It's, it would be horrible if I can't breathe while I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So I have that in here just in case. I'm sure they have something at the hospital that they would rather me probably use but I have it just in case. Even after the kids I'm still going to be a little congested so after I've delivered I at least wanted to have that there just in case. Now we've got a zipper on this side over here that opens up and we've got a few more items so I've got some hand lotion which my favorite hand lotion in the entire world is Jergens original scent because it smells like cherry you guys know what I'm talking about if you guys haven't seen it boom it's amazing if you guys haven't smelled this it's amazing I've always used it um, outside of my moonlight path that's usually what I have in my purse for my hand lotion or I'll have one of these in there too because I'm obsessed with Lubriderm. Specifically the red. I don't use any other Lubriderm but the red. So, a couple other things. I got me some wig caps, of course, because, duh, okay? And then, let's see what else is in here. I also got what is called bamboobies, okay, which is pretty much washable nursing pads. Don't get it twisted. I know y'all gonna be like, oh my God, does that mean? That doesn't mean jack. All it means is if I'm leaking, I wanna make sure I have something to cover the nips so that I'm not leaking through my clothes while I'm at the hospital. So these I got from Target. Of course they have them everywhere. You know, any maternity store or whatever would have them. And they're pretty much just nursing pads. And you can kind of put them in your bra or whatever right and I'll show you guys the bras that I brought with me to take to the hospital but you just put them on to make sure you're not really leaking through um, but yeah they come in handy for people that are breastfeeding or what have you so I have a few of those okay so we're gonna put that over here and zip this up because you know your girl has to stay packed at this point and be ready to go okay so that was one side so here's the other side which I'm dropping my lotions <laughs> okay so here's my other side of my bag, boom, okay? In this side of the bag, we have got, I'm not gonna have to probably take everything out, okay? But um, I have, you know, lotion. This is just, uh, it's not my favorite lotion to use at night, but I ran out of the one I use at night. It's more expensive and it's actually on the way in the mail. And so I just grabbed one of my other ones. It's called Wish Upon a Jar. It's, um, oh, what is it called? I can't remember the name of the company that makes it. I wonder if it's on here. It's a Boots brand, Soap and Glory, okay? And um, I use it every now and again. It's a night cream. And I got a, a toothbrush that vibrates. And then I have a toothpaste. I have my usual deodorant and whatnot, okay? I've got some perfume. I'm probably not gonna use the perfume, but I brought it just in case. I have some hair ties, of course. I have my favorite soap because I only use either Orla Volet or um, Dove. That's the only soap that I use. 
I also got my vitamins, my multivitamins, um, not my multivitamins, but my prenatals and whatnot in here. Um, vitamin C, I've got echinacea, uh, vitamin D, and then I also have some, some Tums, just in case, because you guys know I get acid reflux. And then I also, only because the babies, I never had it before. And then I also have some sanitizer that is, uh, it's alcohol free foaming hand sanitizer. It's by Baby Gannix. And my girl Jazz is the one who got me hip to this. She told me to get that. So I got that so that I will be prepared, even though I know they have some of this stuff at the hospital. But you all know I'm particular and I like my stuff. So I'm gonna try to bring whatever I can to make myself feel as comfortable as possible because this is already gonna be a very nerve-wracking and scary and crazy but amazing experience, okay? So that's what's in my toiletry bag. I have a brush here too that I had loosely put in here and stuff. So I'm gonna, these are all things that I was like, oh, I forgot that. And I just threw it on top of the bag knowing that I would finally get it organized once I did this video. Okay, another couple of things I got. None are in order whatsoever, okay? Because we've just recently washed all this stuff. I got some receiving blankets for my babies. So, got a couple of um, muslin, mute, whatever you call them, receiving blankets. Clearly, I'm a new mom. And uh, I've got a couple of boy ones and a couple of girl ones. So, I've got these little bad boys right here, okay? And they're nice and washed. Put this aside over here. Then, I also have some PJs, all right? Look. I was like, we're gonna be cute with our PJs, right? And you know, the holidays are on the way. So I thought, let me get myself some cute little PJs. So I got these from Target, all right? Got them the other day, okay? These are the things that I didn't have the first time we had our scare, and then the second time I was like, ooh, I, I, cause I bought pajamas, but they're somewhere in the basement. I can't remember what the package is. So I got these in the meantime, and it's a dress, so if there's some access they need to have, they've got the access, in addition to the fact then I also got the matching slippers. Okay. So we got those. And again, I got them both from Target. Another thing I got, which I don't want to take everything out. But I got a robe. And I got this robe from, oh my goodness, uh, Pink Blush Maternity. That's where most everyone gets their maternity robes from. And I just wanted something that would fit the belly, that I could be comfortable in. It's also a longer robe and I'll take it apart so you guys can kind of see it but it's a longer robe and um, any links I'll try to link down below for you guys but it's just a longer robe kind of a kimono type situation and it's long it goes down to the ankles but I just figured it would be something comfortable that I could walk around the hospital in um, in case I'm there for a couple more than a couple days I don't know if I'm gonna have a c-section or not but I want to kind of be prepared with comfortable things and I know I can send my sister over here to grab stuff if I need to um, we've got some socks y'all know the deal with that I also have my Bose mini speaker okay um, and I also have my Beats by Dre and the reason for that is because we were kind of advised that we're gonna have pretty pretty private rooms and um, there's always a chance they'll let me just play my speaker versus me using my headphones so we can have ambiance for everyone that's in the room including the hubby and any family that's there and then if worse comes to worse, I could always bring my headphones and then just connect them or whatever to my phone or whatever, iPad, whatever, and listen to my music on my own. But they did say you can bring a speaker, so I went ahead and got that along with all the cables and stuff are in here for it. What else? Okay, I also got stuff that I don't think I'm really gonna use, but I have it just in case we decide to take pictures or anything. Um, this I don't plan, I don't think I'm gonna use. You never know, I might touch up my hair if I'm in the mood. Y'all know I'm pretty low maintenance for the most part, but I got a curling one just in case. I say, you know what, let me throw some curls into one of these wigs. I am gonna br probably bring an extra wig just in case. I know you're gonna think I'm crazy. Vaseline, because y'all have no idea how ashy my feet are. I can't find my travel size version. If I remember to buy one, I will, but this is what we have in our house. So I just kinda stuck it in here. I also have some makeup. I've seen this in several videos that people kind of get their makeup bag together. This is typically how I roll, but with the fact that I have such dark circles under my eyes, um, I figured I better at least bring some concealer and then if I feel like jazzing it up a little bit, put a couple things in a, in a bag or two, you know, so I'm gonna stick to nude lipstick. I ain't gonna be doing no red lipstick with my kids. You know what I'm saying, that type of thing. Or nude lip gloss or whatever. 
The other thing I didn't have a chance to tell you guys is that I actually have an EOS lip balm in here because I know that I can't use my usual lip gloss on my babies. It's probably going to break them out. That's the one thing I remember with Caden is that when he was born and when he was little, these kinds of things broke him out or he would get, you know, little bumps or whatever from lip gloss, from kissing your baby. You don't know if they're going to react very ba badly to it or whatever. So I do have an EOS lip balm in here and a couple more I'm actually going to stick in here just in case. So we have that, and then I have another bag. This also came from my one of my good girlfriends, my girl Kelly. She gave me a bag. This is from Bath and Body Works, or Bed Bath and Beyond, if I'm not mistaken. Now this has some of the other like toiletry type essentials outside of those. Um, I have a shower cap in here, okay, um, and of course, bam, pads like a mug, because you already know, and I already know, because if y'all have told me and the doctor told me too, well, I'm gonna be leaking like there's nobody's business after it's all said and done. I know they're gonna give you panties and some kind of diaper type of situation but I have a couple sets of different types of pads just in case I need them um, so I have that I have my facial cleanser I have my bio oil for my stomach and then I also of course have my facial brush okay what else do I have in here that's it really I don't want to take it completely out because it took me a while to pack all that and I have the charger for it in here as well so let's see we have those and I have some extra pads in here in the bag as well um, I have my tummy aid, bam, okay? I showed you guys this before, but this is basically, probably won't be able to wear this right away because my belly is pretty big um, and my belly needs to come down a little bit before I can start wearing this, but it's basically one of those things that you wear towards the end, after your pregnancy and it helps to kind of suck you back in. Um, if I have a C-section, they may give me something kind of similar to this at the hospital. Not the same thing, but it'll be something that'll kind of hold me in any way because it'll have to heal. Um, but supposedly these are safe to use after that as well and it helps to kind of suck your stomach kind of back into place to a certain extent. So I have that and then I also have going home clothes which y'all probably aren't even interested in that because honestly my belly's still going to be there. It's just going to be a little floppy. Um, so I'm still going to be wearing maternity clothes walking out the hospital but I got a couple of things like mater a couple of maternity long sleeve shirts and some leggings. Very very simple, very comfortable things because I don't know if the swelling is going to go down right away. Holler at me down below let me know if you guys say I mean, if if, you, if the swelling does eventually go down, I don't know. Um, but if it isn't down, the only thing I'll pretty much be able to wear are flip flops and possibly Uggs. Even my Uggs don't fit. So I want to just wear comfortable clothes. I don't have to be looking all G-like coming out the hospital. I just care about my babies looking good and that's it until I get home. And then, you know, as soon as the babies get home and the doctor gives me clearance, this heifer right here is going to be right back to trying to get her snap back on. Y'all know the deal, okay? In between doing everything we have to do with these babies, all right? Um... So I have a sweatsuit in here and things like that, t-shirt. I still have some tank tops and stuff that I'm gonna pack in here as well. Um, just tank tops to wear, just to have on, just in case. Um, and then I'll have my leggings and that's pretty much it. I don't, I mean, I don't know how long I'm gonna be in the hospital when I finally do deliver. Um, the babies might be there longer than I'm gonna be at the hospital. Depends on how early they come. I'm not encouraging them to come early, but anything before full term is always considered preterm and you know early for twins, okay? Shower shoes, of course, and you guys know I, I showed you slippers. I also have another pair of slippers in here that I got to match the robe. So I have a navy blue pair of slippers that match this robe. And then, I have to re-put this together so it will actually zip. What else? But yeah, other than that, and then of course I have my Lily Jade uh, dust bag and it has just a couple of additional items. I have a couple of, I have a couple of options for going home outfits for the babies because I don't know how big they're gonna be when they come out this very minute. So I wanted to make sure that I had a couple options. Plus I can use this bag to put the diapers in and stuff like that too. But other than that, that's pretty much what I have. Of course I have to bring my ID, my insurance card, those types of things. But as far as anything else, that's all I've pretty much thought that I've needed um, besides, uh, oh, oh yeah, duh. Of course, my camera, okay, with the spare battery and the charger. So my video camera, the camera that I use, you know, have two of, two of these cameras. So one is already charged up and ready to go, and it has the battery charger and an extra battery that's all charged up in here. An empty cartridge. We we done went through all that already. So that is also in here, um, and the tripod I'm using to shoot this video. That's also going in the bag. That was in the bag before I had to take it out of the bag to shoot this video. And yeah, um, outside of that, 
Um, oh, I also have my 10 foot charger for my iPhone. So, and of course I have my iPhone with me because I never leave anywhere without it. Um, and then I'll have my iPad with me as well. I'm still using it because I do emails and stuff from it. Um, but I'll probably just kind of take it with me as I kind of leave. And if not, I can always send someone back here if I'm here, at the, if, at the, if I'm at the hospital long enough to be that bored to need it, but I doubt it. I'm gonna be playing my, my babies more than my iPad. Um, so uh, other than that, that's what I have in my bag so far, okay? Of course I have underwear, I do have underwear, I have uh, bras. Oh, another couple things I should let you guys know that I have in here too. I have sports bras, they're at the way bottom of this bag, and I'm not gonna take them all out. But I do have sports bras. Reason being is because I know I'm gonna experience a lot of tenderness and all that kind of stuff, boob wise. I, and I also want something that's gonna kinda give me some more support outside of the um, uh, regular bras that I own. So I have bras and sports bras in here as well, um, just in case, just so I can have something that kinda just gives me a little bit of extra support. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, what I, that's all I can think of. If there's anything that you guys think that I need to add to my bag, holler at me down below. Um, I know people were saying snacks, things like that. You know, we can always get them at the hospital. Um, because I just, I don't want to have to take too many bags. Juice may come and show you guys what he's going to pack because he has a bag to pack as well. Um, but he's also one of those like, let me just do it when it happens kind of people. And he thinks he might just have that kind of time to come back home. He won't. To come back home and get a bag together, it's very unlikely. He's probably just going to stay there until the babies are born. And then when there's a moment, he might send someone to get a couple things for him. Or he might come back here and shower and change and come back to the hospital. Either way... Um, thumbs up the video, okay? And um, if you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. Welcome to the fam bam. Thank you so much again to Lily Jade for sending me this amazing diaper bag. I'm so excited. I've already began to use it. It's gonna be coming with me to the hospital. Check out the link down below. Make sure you guys check it out. Anything that's pertinent to anything related to Lily Jade will be down in the description box as well. And yeah, y'all, I don't know. When you guys see this video, I might be having babies or, or not. Or and all, okay? But um, comment down below. Let me know if there's anything that I need to add to my bag. And you guys already know what to do. All my social networks are down below. Thumbs up the video. I love y'all. And I will see y'all in tomorrow's vlog. Love y'all.